Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's vlog. Today I'm doing a work weekend in my life. I just made some breakfast, made a little breakfast burrito. And then for lunch I just prepped some um, chicken and bell peppers in this seasoning packet with some olive oil. And then I'm gonna make that with some chickpea pasta later for lunch. Um, and then after my training appointment, I'm probably gonna go to the grocery store and grab something for later because I mentioned this in one of my videos, but if you haven't seen that video, I don't really eat dinner before I go just because we do have to go in really early right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just got done at my training appointment and I showered. I actually ended up taking out my hair extensions too. Um, and I officially have absolutely no hair. I had good hair before hair extensions, but I think it literally ripped out like half of my hair because up here, like in the roots and stuff, it feels super thick and it feels the same, which is understandable because like I had grow out, but like the bottom half is so thin. I can't remember. Like, I think it's a lot thinner than what it used to be. This is literally a rat tail. Like I at least had some like something to grip onto before and now I have nothing. That's so unfortunate, but I'm getting my hair done in two weeks, so I'm just going to have them do like a healthy trim and just probably trim it up to here, which sucks because my hair actually grew a lot, but I don't care if it's there's literally none of it, so it doesn't matter. But hopefully when I style it later, it will feel a lot thicker because um, I've only felt it wet. And if you guys were wondering how I took them out, I literally just soaked my entire head in coconut water and just slowly like peeled it apart as it was like coming undone um but right now i'm just gonna chill for a little bit i'm gonna edit this video not this video but a different video and try to get that up for you guys tonight if not i'll have it up on sunday and then i'll make lunch and stuff before i leave but yeah my training appointment was really good today i i don't record when i'm there because i am like awkward at filming in front of people but he got like these new machines it was like a sled and then some other like squat machine thing it wasn't like a machine it was like a i don't even know i don't even know what it was but it was cool and now my legs hurt <laughs> and i really don't want to go to work especially now that i'm like insecure about my hair oh my god let me show you guys the um the bag of my hair <laughs> because like i mean this is a lot of hair like that's a lot of hair um and i think most of my real hair is in there as well I don't know. I'm going to chill for a little bit. I just started the show. I kept seeing it on TikTok. It was Cruel Summer or something. And it's pretty good so far. So I'm going to continue to watch that. I'm going to make myself some chlorophyll water right now. And then I'll see you guys whenever I make lunch. I just finished making my lunch. This looks so good. So I just have the chickpea pasta I showed you guys earlier with the peppers and chicken that I had marinating. And then I just put some parm on top, but in the sauce, let me show you guys the sauce. This is the best sauce ever. This is the first time I'm trying it and I'm obsessed. Like I definitely will be rebuying this. It just tastes so good. If you guys love like the way truffle tastes, you would like this this brand hey guys so i'm doing my makeup right now i'm in the middle of doing it um i have to leave in about an hour so i'm just gonna get this done now yeah i am so tired i don't want to go in i just bought a bunch of new clothes so hopefully they come in soon um so that i can do haul videos Guys, I am so excited that my channel is growing. Like, I literally, like, posted that last video and just, like, 
It's crazy because like I know my stripper vlogs and like stripper videos will do really well. They're usually like more engaged with, but my other like smaller videos like used to not really like get that much engagement. Like people, some people would comment on them and I probably would get like maybe like 200 to 300 views, but I'm actually getting like a good amount of views on my regular videos and that's just like making me it's just like inspiring me and motivating me so much. So I had the chan I had the channel before and I used to post videos and some of them were really cute and some of them were just like really bad. But the lighting was just hor horrible in all of them. So I ended up deleting it because I was didn't have the time to like keep posting. I think I started Vlogmas in 2018 and um, or no, 2019. I did Vlogmas and everything. And I wanted to do Vlogmas so bad, and I basically did, like, a day. And then I um, just stopped recording and, like, just didn't have time to put into it. And I just, like, was not in a good headspace then either. And then I started dancing, so I was, like, even more just, like, focused on, like, starting that and, you know, like figuring out what my end goal is and what I want to do with that. So everything happens for a reason. Um, and also like, I just think it's so crazy like how fast my channel has grown because I haven't promoted it once. Like I've never promoted my YouTube channel on Instagram or anything like that. Not that I'm like embarrassed, I'm not embarrassed of my YouTube. It's just, I have family members on my YouTube, or not my YouTube, but my Instagram and stuff that I don't really want them to know that I'm a dancer yet. Basically, there's just like a lot of people to block from my story, like family and stuff that I don't want to see, that I don't want them to see yet. I don't care if they know, you know, if they find out eventually, you know, they're gonna find out regardless eventually, but I'd rather them find out after I've already like done something with it. You know what I mean? So I can be like, look, this is why I did it because I wouldn't have this if I didn't. You know what I mean? Like they just wouldn't understand if they were to know now. Here's my sweet little boy sleeping. Here's my sweet boy. Oh, I love him. Dude, I don't know how, what to do. I, I literally just do not know how to work my camera. I feel like I need a different one or like a new one. But it's the next day. I ended up not going to work yesterday. I just like had this like feeling of like, I don't even know how to describe it. I just felt like there was just like something telling me not to go. How f***ing crazy because my boyfriend ended up like getting a free call. And if I was at work, I literally would have missed it and I would have been so upset. It was probably like one of the saddest phone calls I've ever had in my entire life. It was really sad because I guess like he, I like the mail is just like really slow, but he didn't get any of my letters and like everybody else got their letters from their like wives and girlfriends. And he got his mom's letter and his grandpa's letter, but he didn't get any of my letters. So he thought that I wasn't writing him. And yeah, it was just really sad. Um, but I'm, I was so excited to be able, I, I just like can't believe that I even got to talk to him yesterday. Like, I'm just like, that's, that's like, I'm like so about like everything happens for a reason because if I went to work yesterday, I would not have been able to talk to him. And that's just crazy to me because like, I just wouldn't have been able to talk to him. I would have been so upset. He would have been so upset. Like, oh my God, I just like can't even imagine. But yeah, I ended up not going and last night, my friend came over. This morning, I went to go look at a new apartment. I am going to go into work tonight, though, because I do need money, so. And I'm actually feeling a lot different today. Like, today, like, I'm actually, like, ready to go in. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to make money. Yesterday was so weird. That's just so weird that I got that feeling. Like, I had just, just had a gut feeling to not go in. And he ended up calling me. Now I'm scared. That if I go into work, he's going to get, like, one of these free calls and then I'm going to be working. And, like, I can't, like, check my phone all the time when I'm talking to a customer. But whatever. I don't even think I'm going to be working a lot. I just want to put, like, so much more time and energy into my YouTube. 
And like I've said from the beginning, dancing isn't forever. It's just for right now. So I'm just going to keep knocking out these dancing vlogs for you guys. So you can get them for the time that I'm actually going to be doing it. But I don't plan on doing this for ever. Alright, so I have these avocados from the other day. And I just know that they're going to go bad. Or no, I'm just kidding. I just, I know that they're bad. Um, because they're probably brown and they've been sitting in here for a while. Yeah, so I'm gonna use them for my hair because they're definitely not edible See and then I have one in here as well. Oh This one's this one's gross. I mean I'm still gonna put it in my hair, so I think what I'm gonna do is just squeeze this out of here and then Mix it with some olive oil and then put it in my hair. All right, the lighting in here is really bad, but I'm gonna do it now. That's my hair, guys. I'm getting it done soon, though, so it doesn't matter. It's so thin. Mm, that's so sad. But I don't even know where to start. I guess the end, so I'm just going to grab some. This feels so gross. This smells so good. I want to eat it. We're all done. Hopefully this helps. I'm literally going to just be doing, like, hair mask every single day until my hair grows like look at this like all this hair was all like grown back and now it's all gone again like now I have a receding hairline again but oh well lesson learned I'm never getting extensions again all right I just got home and I counted my money at the club already actually I didn't count it all so I'll count it for you a little bit we were actually about to leave tonight because it was so dead in the beginning. I was like very discouraged and I just wanted to get the fuck out of there. I was just like so over it. The only thing that would really was like keeping me wanting to like go and like make money was for the sake of this video because I didn't want to have to come back and be like, yeah, I made like $10 because I was literally ready to leave with $10. Also, my hair is just so fucked from like the extensions. It's so thin, I had to wear it up today because it just wasn't a vibe. But yeah, so I made a good amount of money. I don't even know how much I made. I wrapped it up in here. It ended up being a pretty good night. One, 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 20, 40, 60, 80, 6, 20, 40, 60, 80, 7, 20, 40, 60, 80, 8, 20, 40, 60, 80, 9, and then I have 40, and these ones right here, and then I have a little pile right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, thirteen. So like, this is like nineteen. Um, I think I have an extra dollar actually in here. So I mean nine hundred and. $59, $959.